global war means everyone on the planet is at risk. Fellas, yesterday, Justice League Dark Apocalypse dropped. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a clip, and I'm going to give you a spoiler-free review. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, subscribe to Larry's channel, and check out Taylor Todd on Facebook. Justice League. We are facing an existential threat to the planet. Justice League Dark Apocalypse War is the 15th and final entry in the DC Universe movies, a shared universe that began with 2013's Justice League The Flashpoint Paradox. So, ladies and gentlemen, I watched it. It is a full hour and 30 minutes of intensity and darkness. When I tell you there's torture, there's head splitting, it is just as graphic as this very last Mortal Kombat Scorpion Revenge was. Very, very graphic. Now, I will say while I enjoyed it, I didn't love it. It felt like- Really? It was, yes, it felt like it was missing something for me. And let me give you some, some, a little bit of what I'm trying to say here. Since they have done this full entire run with these new Justice League and this new Dark Side version, I've always felt like this version of Dark Side was way overpowered, way overpowered. And so when I started watching this, the whole time I'm thinking, they haven't been able to do anything with Dark Side since they've started this iteration of the Justice League. How are they gonna defeat him? Is it gonna be they're gonna send him to another galaxy? Cause you know how they do that. Is he gonna get sucked through a wormhole? Are they gonna try to punch him to the sun? What is gonna be the major battle with Dark Side? And without giving you everything, the story focuses more on Constantine and Raven. Raven has these mystical powers and her dad is Trigon the demon. And Trigon is stuck in her head in that little red ruby in her brain. They rendered, soup, they rendered the whole entire Justice League powerless, except for Constantine who is really powerful. I didn't even know he had that much power. Raven who we all know is powerful, they had Superman, but he was neutered. And then they had a few <laughs> other, yeah, he was neutered like hell. When you see this, you're gonna be like, damn, he was neutered. Hmm. Long story short, Dark Side was ruthless. Mm. One battle, Dark Side goes to Oa, where the Green Lanterns are at, by himself, kicks the whole Lantern Corps ass. Then he blows up the Green Lantern that they get their powers from. He blew wow. it up. He went there by himself. All, all the while, now all the while, Superman, Raven, and Constantine is trying to figure out a way to stop him on Apocalypse, okay? Now, the big crescendo battle is not going to be with Darkseid and Superman because I've already told y'all, Superman really can't hold his own with Darkseid. The person that eventually fights Darkseid made it a good battle, and he's more powerful than Darkseid in this iteration of the Justice League. Mm -hmm. And I'll leave it there and I'll take you guys' questions if you have any questions about Justice League Dark Apocalypse. Where can we watch it? You can watch it from DC's streaming service or you can go get the DVD. All right. Yep. I'm going to have to go check that out. Now, I, I do give this movie a 7.5. Like I said, I liked it. I didn't love it. I felt like it was missing something. But overall, I, I was, the storyline is fine. Um, the grotesqueness of the movie is fine. And y'all know DC put out some of the best animated cartoons we're gonna ever find. They're yeah, still so killing we just wish that their uh, We just wish that their, their, their <laughs> live action movies were as good. Right, but yeah. they're not. They're yeah. not. Th this was pretty good. So I would definitely say it's definitely worth the watch. Some of you guys might not be trying to watch it three or four times, but it's definitely worth the watch. It'll keep you entertained for the whole hour and a half. And within the first five minutes, when you see what happens with the plan they're trying to put in place, you're going to be like, oh my God, what is going on? <laughs> so go and watch it. Get ready for it. That's my candid review.